A 14 year old learned his fate today after admitting to killing his seven month old sister. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell is live in Rockville with the tragic story. Brad. Well, Candace, the boy will be sent to a therapeutic youth facility. And after learning his fate, he was led away by sheriff's deputies. He was in handcuffs, leg shackles. He was wearing a jailhouse jumpsuit. He looked like an inmate. But the judge made it very clear in this case, the goal is to help this young man eventually lead a productive life. It's one of those cases where nobody wins and everybody cries. After her 14 year old son was sent to a juvenile residential treatment facility for killing her seven month old daughter, Gloria Yanis sobbed and sought comfort with her priest and friends, one of whom spoke for the shattered family. I was very, very sad. Like I said, what I find out in the news, you know, was they broke my heart while I hear, I really can't believe the, you know, what happened. I really can't describe it, you know, it's, it's very. So powerful. It was back in February when the boy was charged with first degree murder as an adult. He admitted to police he smothered his baby sister. And when police learned many of the apparent injuries on the child were actually post mortem insect bites, the case was moved back to juvenile court. In closed hearings, the boy was found guilty or involved, as they call it in the juvenile system. Today, a judge allowed the public and press back in to hear the now 15 year old sentence. Neighbors say the judge got it right. And I think the sentence for the boy is appropriate because he's not incarcerated in jail, not getting the help that he needs. She is sympathetic because at the time of the killing, the boy, a recent immigrant from El Salvador, was responsible for babysitting not only the seven month old, but also a three year old sister for hours and days on end while his mother worked. She says she couldn't afford a sitter. And you know, she had to go to work. Well, I can say she's a good mother and he's a good boy. I know he was doing so good in the school. Now, in the juvenile system, there is no specific length of sentence announced. He is under control of the system until he is 21 years old, but he may return home well before then. Now, as for the home, we are told that the mother has been investigated. She has not been charged with anything, but we are told that she no longer has custody of that three-year-old child, at least at this point. In Rockville, Brad Bell, ABC7 News. Brad, thank you very much.